All right, so a commonly asked question with the collector's parrots is, are they cuddly? And my answer to that is yes, they most definitely are. They can be extremely cuddly and exactly like soft toys. However, whether or not you should cuddle them is another matter. Come on, you're not gonna eat the camera, not today. <laughs> nice try. Um, these guys have a different feather structure to most birds. If you look closely at their heads, they're more like strands of hair. They're not fully formed feathers in the traditional sense. And the back and rest of the body is the normal feathering. They don't have feather dust. They have an oil which they secrete through the gland just about the back, which comes right through their feathers. Why this is relevant is this oil can actually interact with the oil from our hands. So if you overhandle one of these birds, you tend to get a lot of stress bars, a lot of blackness in the feathers, and even sometimes a bacteria can form and it causes a lot of plucking. So while they can be extremely cuddly, it's not something I generally recommend doing a lot of. Aside from the fact that if you do overhandle these guys, they get extraordinarily hormonal very quickly. It's worth remembering these guys are in season most of the year in captivity, so they're constantly <laughs> on top of the camera. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just on the microphone, no big Everyone way. likes the sound of you <laughs> stomping on the microphone. Nice work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely affectionate birds. Um, very, very friendly, very, very easy to handle. I like them because their body language is a little bit slower than other parrots, so you can actually capture it. Um, like, you know, the crazy lorikeet that zooms around your head 100 miles an hour. These guys tend to just slow it down and do everything at ecky speed, and you can be warned when they're going to dissect your fingernail. Take a chunk off your nose, yeah, all those kind of things. So it's really easy to divert their behavior. In terms of actually handling these guys, because they often don't like too much touching, I like to kiss them on the head or the neck. <laughs> <laughs> and that so needs to go in the bloopers. I give up. <laughs> you say you're getting traded in for Peppy. <laughs> Take two on that cuddly neck thing. <laughs> kiss, kiss. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I'm loving her actually. They are. They make the best videos. <laughs> <laughs> this is working really well, Jenny. <laughs> One of my top tips to avoid triggering hormones with these guys is rather than handling their whole body, it's just a gentle from the neck and it would be better if they were in a better mood. <laughs> you think? So what does that sound mean? In this particular instance, he's extremely hormonal and I'm ignoring him and looking at a different bar. So he's getting a little bit upset. <laughs> Just wanted to do it on her terms. Okay. <laughs> She's got your hair. And now the cats are fighting. Do you want to talk about hormones? Since you started to go into it? Okay. Yeah, sure. So. Did you say that you are a bird trainers? What the hell? <laughs> what do you mean, what the hell? Everything's going straight to plan. Sure it is. This is totally working out great. Yeah. Eckies are amazing. Now, should we bring out the sulfurs? <laughs> no. <laughs> sulfurs should stay there. You're being good, aren't you? Oh, all right. <clears throat> I'm gonna hope I don't get pooped down the front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> she likes your hair. It's a strange egg. <laughs> oh. 